Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport, and if you're watching a channel like mine, there's a decent chance you would like to work in F1 someday. Well, some of you would have looked at the titleless video and had a mix of intrigue and confusion. But don't worry, if you've never heard of Formula Student before, you are not alone. I only just found out about it a year ago or so myself. But if you're interested in working in Formula One or motorsport in general in the future, then Formula Student is something you simply can't miss out on. It's such a big deal, they've even got Paddy Lowe, James Allison and Ross Braun as ambassadors, as well as quite a few special guests. So, without further ado, let me explain what Formula Student is, why it's so important for a career in motorsport, and how you can get involved. So firstly, what is Formula Student? Well, in short, it's a student-led motorsport engineering competition where universities around the world compete against each other to take the crown for the best Formula Student team on the planet. Engineering students, or anyone wanting to get involved, design and build the car, as well as manage the finances, infrastructure and growth of the team. In essence, it's a small-scale operation replicating that of a proper race team. Then, towards the end of the academic year, usually around July to August, the teams come together and take part in yearly competitions all around the world. So, let's take a deeper look at what the competition actually involves, because it is quite different to the conventional motorsport competitions of Formula 1, Formula E, etc. Well, instead of a racing calendar format spread over a year with races taking place at various different tracks, it's a selection of events around the world every year where cars are judged on a points basis, and the judging is split into two different categories, static events and dynamic events. Static events are essentially where the technical build of the car and business operations are judged, and it's formatted as follows. The engineering design of the car, cost and manufacturing, the business plan presentation, and finally, there is a technical inspection involving tests on the safety, chassis, noise, tilt, brake, and tech. Then there are the dynamic events, where the car is actually put onto a track and tested across various different events. Firstly, there is a skid pad event where the cars undergo a series of figure of eights. Then there is the autocross sprint event, the 75 meter acceleration test, and then most importantly, the longer distance endurance test. These are all designed to test and assess how each car performs. Right, so that's the general format of the competition, and I've got to say, it's quite interesting. But looking at some of the footage and pictures in this video, you're probably more interested by the actual Formula Student cars. Well, the teams build these small-scale Formula-style cars with very pronounced levels of downforce as shown by the large rear wing and front wings, as well as using a considerable amount of ground effect. And you're probably wondering why. Well, basically, the tracks that Formula Student go to are very corner-heavy with very few straights, and so it makes sense to load the cars up with more downforce so they can carry more speed into the corners. The exact same reason Formula 1 teams put more downforce on their cars when they race at tracks like Monaco or Singapore. But also like Formula 1, the Formula Student teams decide to run much less to zero downforce to score more points in the sprint and acceleration events. Teams may also run less downforce if they receive less funding, because understandably, they don't have the money to invest in huge carbon fibre aerodynamic parts. Now of course, a racing team is way more about just the car and the mechanics who build it. There are also quite a few tasks to organise logistics, sponsors and the team's finances, and Formula Student is no different. Now in terms of how the actual team is funded, money comes from a variety of places. Firstly, there is funding from the universities, which can come as a basic cash payment, as well as in the form of components and materials, sponsorships and technical partners that supply the team with components. So you might be wondering why I am making a video about this when I've stuck completely to videos about Formula 1. And well, it's partly because I've dived into the world of Formula Student myself, with Team Bath Racing at the University of Bath in the UK. Team Bath Racing are currently fundraising to go on a tour across Europe this summer, and I've managed to get them in to do a Q&A about anything Formula Student in the comments section of this video, so make sure to check that out if you'd like to learn more. But I'm also making this video because Formula Student is an extremely valuable project for both Formula 1 teams and people aspiring to work in Formula 1. It provides Formula 1 teams with a pool of enthusiastic, skillful and now experienced analysts, engineers, managers and mechanics to scout out and hire. If you look at the current employees in a Formula 1 team, a common theme among them will be that they took part in Formula Student one way or another. So for someone looking to work in Formula 1 or motorsport, Formula Student is a no-brainer. 
but you might be wondering, how do I get involved? Well, this is something that mainly takes place in universities, so if you are currently studying at a university and wanting to get involved, look into whether your university competes and dive straight in. Or if you haven't gone to university yet, then make sure to take into consideration whether they offer Formula Student when choosing where to go. For those in the UK, aim for these ones shown here. And for those elsewhere in the world, I've included the best universities and colleges in various continents in the video description, so make sure to have a look at that. And by the off chance, if there's anyone watching this video that goes to the University of Bath and wants to get involved, drop a comment below or use the link in the description and fill out our form. Also, just a reminder, if you'd like to learn more, then make sure to ask anything else in the comments section as the Team Bath Racing Team will be around to answer your questions. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe and smash that notification bell to be reminded of any new videos.